What's up everyone, Danny Lightning back with another Worldbots video. Today we are going to build up a crazy leech robot. I'll show you the build, I'll recommend some other weapons just in case you don't have these and all kinds of other good stuff. Then we'll go do some gameplay so you can see this thing in action. But I definitely recommend these laser weapons, they are awesome. Pulsar is an excellent choice, if you can put four Pulsars on the leech that will tear people up. Fainters definitely aren't my number one choice, but if you already have four of those laying around, why not? Razdor can be a pretty cool weapon to put on there. Hazards will do a great job. Atomizers can be very good. And if you're really crazy and you want to play them up close, these maces can be amazing. But I, I recommend five to 600 meter range or further. That way you can stay back a little bit. You don't really want to play this guy as a brawler because when his ability is not active, he is very, very squishy. I would probably run a nuclear amplifier, a immune amplifier, a last stand, and a repair unit. And if you don't have the immune amp, you could just run a balanced unit or something like that instead. When it comes to the drone, I would probably go with a paralysis, a deltaki, or a reviver. If I was running the reviver, I would probably not run the last stand, but hey. So let's go do a couple of battles with this thing, then we'll go over the pilot skills after the battle. If you enjoy this content, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and do me a favor, watch the entire video if you get a chance, because YouTube really pays attention to how long people watch your videos as to how much it promotes your channel. So that would be a big help to me, but let's get into the battles, and then we'll show you the pilot skills. All right, we're going to drop in Mr. Leech on the moon for game number two. I think this is number two. I don't know, whatever it is. Game number two, I'm not sure which clips you're going to get to see. I'm probably re going to re record like five or six clips and then show you the like average ones. I'm not going to show you the really good ones. I'm not going to show you the really bad ones. I'll show you the clips I think you're the type of games your average player probably has. All right, let's go in there. Bam! We got one already. That was good. That was good. All right, let's go over this way and try and help support our teammate who's trying to get this beacon. We're going to attach to that guy. And if somebody shoots me, he's going to take some damage. But he is a uh, he does have a very strong force field up, so it's going to be hard to damage that guy, honestly. Um, we got to watch out for that Mars turret. Mars turrets are great if your ability's ready. Look how fast I'm taking damage. This thing is super squishy. I like it. Now, if I could attach to somebody and get that 90% damage resistance from the ability, plus suck their life away, and the Mars turret, turret shooting you, that is a great way to take out the enemies. Because that Mars turret can't help shooting you if you're right in front of it. But, so let's go ahead and wait. As soon as we, uh, let's attach to this guy. Come on, shoot me, shoot me, shoot me. All right, later, dude. Oh, man. That guy stole my kill. Jerk. Actually, no, no, no. If it's red and it's dead, that's a good thing. As long as people aren't waiting to the last, like intentionally waiting till the guy's down to no health and just coming in to take. Oh, they did it again. Those jerks. <laughs> but it's dead, so it's good, right? Anytime the other team dies, it's a good thing. All right, let's run over this. Oh, it's a ball. Boring. Wow, we were sucking his life away, man. Look at that. He was shooting me while I was leeching onto him, and it just absolutely destroyed him. <laughs> Alright, there's another kill. We'd have a lot more kills if the teammates stopped taking my kills. Alright, let's go ahead and uh let's go ahead and move on over this way. Come on, dude, do something. Ooh, come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. I don't want to die yet. I'm too young to die. I got a bad feeling they're going to get me. Like I said, man, this leech is crazy, crazy squishy. Once they start chasing you down like this, yeah, you're probably you're probably not going to survive too much longer. Especially when there's a dangler after you. Get out of here, you nasty dangler. Oh my god. That's it. Well, that was fun. It turned out pretty good. Let's go play another battle, and hey, then we'll show you the pilot skills. All right, so let's go ahead and drop the leech in. Hopefully we don't have to get any beacons. This is what I consider a support bot, right? You want to help your teammate who goes to the beacon and you just want to shoot stuff from a distance. And yeah, it's, it's an excellent bot for some quick kills. You really want to play this from a distance. It's not really an up close brawler. Um, right now we're going to go over to this beacon. There's not a lot of people over here. So let's just shoot these guys way in the back. If somebody starts shooting me, I'm going to try to use my ability and attach to somebody. 
And anytime somebody shoots me when I'm, when I'm attached to another player, it starts sucking that player's life away and killing them just because somebody's shooting me. So the leech will leech their health if you're being shot and you're attached to somebody else. But this robot is very, very squishy. It dies so easy. You gotta play it very carefully. Like right now, we're kind of playing it as a brawler support in a way, which probably isn't the best way to do it, but it looks like right now the entire team is just kind of like camping in the back. So we're not gonna get any shots in if we just hang out in the back corner somewhere because the other team appears to be camping. So hey, we gotta get out there and do something, all right? So right now we're attached to that guy and we got a triple kill. Bam, 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 bam. We got him. All right, so let's head over this way. I'm thinking about maybe trying to snag that beacon on the right, but at the same time, if I go back there, there's probably going to be a lot. And I mean a lot of people shooting at me. Really, you want to attach to somebody and only want one or two guys shooting at you. So, yeah, okay, we need to get center, but if I, I'm my, my ability is about out there. <laughs> I can't talk today. Oh crap, sandwiches. Dude, did he just teleport in front of me? Where did that little guy just come from? He came out of nowhere. Either I'm blind or he just appeared directly in front of me. I mean, I am on the old crappy PC because the good one's broken. Oh, man. All right, let's go ahead and check out that pilot again. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. So we got the Thomas Mendred or whatever his name is. This guy gives the leech a bunch of speed while its ability is active. There's another leech pilot, but I don't like it at all. This is the one I would recommend. We got Adamant Guardian. We got Roadhog. We got Mechanic. We got Engine Expert. We got Armor Expert. We got Dodger and we got Module Expert. Now these are all skills I set up a long time ago. So just to show you, if, even if you don't have the very best skills, you can still do pretty good. One of the new skills you might think about adding is Stubborn Warrior. So if you get down to 30% health or lower, you start getting some defense points. Now I'm not sure how that works with the Last Stand because Last Stand comes on around the same time, I think. On this robot, I think Full Hearty Quartermaster is a really good skill to have. That way, when you drop below so, so much health, you can use your ability again to leech onto somebody and keep yourself from dying. So that's one skill I should definitely be putting on there that I don't have, unfortunately. But Mechanic is definitely one of those things where if you're playing from a distance and you're using a lot of cover, I think Mechanic is a good skill for this particular robot. Now, Module Expert, that's something I would probably take off and replace with one of the other skills because that's only so helpful these days. I mean, if I use my healing, since I'm running the healing module, I might get an extra like one second or one and a half seconds of healing or something like that. It's, it's a very slight help, so there may be some other skills that are a little more beneficial than that one. So yeah, anyways, that's pretty much the deal there. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you'd like to help support the channel, check out the thank you button or the join button down below the video. There's a Danny Lightning merch store down there, or you can drop down the video's description to see some game news, some interesting links and info, some more ways to help support the channel and a bunch of other stuff. And hey, thank you so much for watching. You guys are amazing. Thank you all to the channel members. You guys rock. Thank you to everybody who watches the videos and hangs out on the live streams with me. You guys are all amazing, and we will catch you next time. See ya.